Right guys, welcome back again today. Uh, it's not going to be a major video today. Uh, just a little clean up basically of the wife's car. Uh, getting it ready for show season, just tidying up the engine bay basically. Uh, just got a few bits to just run you through. Um, basically, we're going to be changing this pipe here for the uh, chrome pipe. Just to... Uh, give it a bit more bling in the uh, engine bay and a couple of weeks ago I fitted the clear cover timing belt cover now uh, if I quickly get a torch basically I mean you can see in, you probably can't see it too well but when I get all the bits off I'll show you again but all the cam pulleys are all uh, a little bit discoloured and all that lot so just going to freshen that up and make it look a bit more better to the eye basically but right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put it on time lapse start stripping some bits um, it's just a little tidy up video basically getting it ready for show season there's a couple of other bits I was gonna put uh, the top hat on there uh, for this part here but uh, the missus she doesn't like different color pipes and that so I've got to get a pipe uh, hose for there, which will go on to this bit in black. Uh, but I've only got it in blue, so she doesn't really want to have any other colours. So I've got to put a cover on that as well, just to cover it up, just so it's a bit more comfortable to the eye. Uh, just one other thing, guys. Um, now she's not one of these people who likes to heavily modify her car she likes to keep them sort of basically stock looking and original she has done a few things to it um i'm trying to convince her to get a front lower front splitter for the front of the bumper um so i've got gnc aerodynamics uh, involved they're going to be doing a little splitter which will be coming around the front of the bumper not too um, mad just a, like a little uh, uh, lip on it basically so yeah that's basically what we're going to be doing today is just tidying up the engine bay In my head, yeah. didn't go according to plan with the uh, boost pipe uh, it's a little bit too small so um, yeah that's basically not gonna work so that's a no-go so right what I'm gonna do is I've got some other pipes on order for that for this section here to go up to be match the same as this basically uh, should have known better that they, they are different size to the uh, OEM um, bit to the modified bit they're just a little bit different so right we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack on and do the uh, cam covers um, not cam covers the cam pulleys basically just tidy those up make them look a bit more fresher right let's get it guys where we're at at the moment got it all taped up at the moment 
Now I know a lot of you are going to sit there going, ah, oh, what the hell is he doing? Right, basically, just going to tidy this up, just give it a little coat of paint, just tidy it up a bit. The uh, reason why is um, in a couple of weeks, this is having the racing timing belt put on it, the blue one. Uh, the missus saw the last video of the uh, Safira, Ian Safira, and she quite liked the idea of the belt and the pulleys and all that lot. So uh, I got in touch with Nevlock, spoke to Jordan. Uh, I'm going to be ordering two timing belts and the, or, uh, the pulleys, the Vernier pulleys, uh, but they haven't got them in. They haven't got the uh, pulleys in stock yet, so. I've got to wait for those so this is just a temporary just tidy up just to make it look a little bit um, cleaner basically because she's a bit funny she, she likes things tidy and all that lot get it time now let's get it all sprayed up and see what the finished product uh, looks like hopefully fingers crossed it looks all right who knows we'll see but see you soon Finished product. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. Just uh... right. What do you reckon, guys? Looks a lot better, doesn't it, than the uh, rusty bit inside? But right, that's it for this. Like I say, it's just a temporary. Uh, well, hey sorry guys yeah like I say it's just temporary it's not a permanent fixture it's not gonna add any brake horse power to the car or anything it's just to tidy it up make it look a bit fresher um, until the other pulleys come basically so as soon as they come they'll be going on and all that lot but yeah I hope you all enjoyed sorry it ain't a long one guys it's just a like short little one basically but just give you a little so we give you a little walk around of the car there you go basically all the little mods and cons she's done to it it's now running 200 and i think it's 280 something brake uh from it's got one of the rabid um soft mat 2 on it uh she didn't want nothing too aggressive drives very nice yeah very clean looking arctic very low mileage give you a show what it's like inside as you know with the arctics they come with the uh, carbon trims already in like i say it's all original apart from the stereos it's got one of those pumpkin stereos in there like me but yeah she enjoys the car she likes it like i say she's uh one of these ones who likes to have uh stock like cars basically she's got a little show car oh, oh big camera yeah she's got a show car at home as well she's got a m3 e92 v8 last of the v8s m3 uh which we quite enjoy driving about actually it doesn't go straight it was always sideways in that but yeah i mean that's it really on this one that's a little toy would you reckon guys give us a little comment in the comment section what you reckon of these of the old arctics 
there's quite a lot of difference as well sorry guys i'll just rabbling on at the moment but yeah there's quite a few different um things with these artics like the mirrors and that i don't know if you've ever bought um a mirror uh, glass for one of these but they're a lot bigger than the uh normal vxr uh, I don't know what other differences there is with these, but if anybody knows much about the Arctics, it's a shame they're not numbered like the uh, Nurburgs, but apparently uh, with these they had all the, um, it was the final celebration of the VXRs, the last of the VXRs, so basically put everything all together from all the other cars, uh, VXRs they've done over the years and uh plonked them onto this and done the arctic but sadly enough like the nurberg i know the nurberg they done the um, a certain amount to the time of the nurberg it done it in basically but the arctic they, there's uh 500 of these made but they didn't actually number them which is a quite a shame really because it would have been quite interesting to uh have them numbered um but yeah, give us your thoughts guys, clean little car, you'll see this at the Vauxhall show next, uh, the next show and a couple of others with the uh, VXR Owners Club, but yeah, right that's it guys, hope you enjoyed, um, yeah like I say leave a comment in the comment section, like I said to you as well about the front splitter, have you got any thoughts on the front splitter? Like she said, she don't want to go too mad with modifications. She wants them quite subtle and like suiting the car. Basically, she don't want. She thinks my car's head like over modified. It is, but it's how I like it myself. But she's one of these. I mean, you can see how well she keeps her car. It's like even inside the bonnet, it's all nice and clean and that. All in the shuts. Yeah, she does try and uh, keep on top of it, guys. But, yeah, I mean, like I say, she doesn't like nothing too modified. But, yeah, that's it, really. Hope you'll enjoy. Yeah, leave a comment in the comment section and um, catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>